Hi, this is Ruth from Yoga Well. I've put together some video clips for working with Ardha Chandrasana Half Moon Pose, a standing balance. Uh, in yoga classes, particularly flow classes where you're not spending a lot of time in any one asana, it can become frustrating when you're trying to find your center of gravity and there's just not enough time to really feel for working in a particular pose. So I've broken down uh, working against a wall in different ways and then coming to the mat. Uh, so have a go if you like, uh, see if any of those tips help. You might think of some other way to work uh, with developing that pose. And I'd love to hear how you get on. I hope you enjoy it. Thanks, bye-bye. So here we have us entering into Ardha Chandrasana, settling into the pose. Top arm can be lifted when ready, just to get a sense of what it looks like. Now let's take a look at working with our back against the wall. So allow a good fist width between that front foot and the wall. Hands, fingertips can be used to help support you as you lift the leg. Stable through standing leg. So use that wall to connect the back of the body, rolling that top hip back, rolling the top rib cage and top shoulder back, feeling the back of the hands connecting. Standing leg can be straight or you can soften the knee. And notice the change in position of the torso as hand comes up to standing leg shin bone. So Take your time finding that center of gravity here. That's what this is about. That's why it's helpful to have that wall to really feel into the pose. Come out when you're ready and maybe try it a few more times and work both sides. Another useful way to practice half moon pose is with the lifted foot pressed against a wall to really get that feel of extension through the pose. So let's take a look at that now. To set the distance of standing leg foot to the wall, you can be seated with your back against the wall, mark out where that heel is, and then you can either roll on to the foot from there or just come up and land the back of your heel where you marked out the heel was from that seated position. And then the lifted leg finds the wall and it may not be exactly that right distance, so you may have to take the standing leg foot a little further. Um, back or forward to adjust it. And then with that press out into the foot into the wall, it gives you that leverage to start extending through the upper body, rotating the front body skyward, stacking ribs, stacking shoulders. Bottom hand can come to the shin, top hand can lift when you're ready. And again, standing leg knee can be soft there. It doesn't need to be straight. Play with where that drishti yaze point is and notice where that center of gravity is. So bending the knee, hands down to exit the pose. If you're taking it to the other side, you can just level off that other foot. You've got it where it should be. And then that opposite leg can lift up to practice on the other side. And we'll just take a quick look at setting that up and getting into the pose on the other leg, other side. So you can just see the pose with that back view of the pose. So let's see if we can use some of those experiences of the work at the wall to refine our work in the pose of Half Moon on the mat. So let's try Ardha Chandrasana Half Moon pose on the mat. So often this is entered by a side angle trikonasana pose. I'm going to take that with a shorter stride length. So very similar to how it was done with my back to the wall earlier. So the torso is going to reach forward hand outside of the front foot and then taking that weight forward. So remember that you could use a block, a brick, a stool, a chair to bridge that distance of that front hand to the floor to find that extra stability as you lift that back leg up. 
So hand can stay to the floor, or you could play with lifting it to the shin as we showed against the wall. Think about that extension heel to head and firing up the outer thigh muscles on both legs. Top arm can lift when you're ready. And then just feeling for where that center of gravity is powerful out through the legs. Check the back lifted leg doesn't start to drift towards the back side of the body. Also lift out through that upward arm to bring that energy and stability through the torso. Exit under control. And then maybe take a little bit of a rest before you try it on the other side. I hope you found that beneficial and had some fun playing with Half Moon Pose. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.